Have you ever been in class and you begin to get a little bit bored? So you start daydreaming and all of a sudden you notice that your hand has a life of its own and you start drawing something on the corner of the textbook somewhere. And uh, maybe you draw something more beautiful than this. But what you've just done here is draw what in maths we call a curve. So what is a curve? Almost anything you do on a piece of paper, where you start somewhere, you do something and then you stop, is a curve. So if I do this, then I've drawn a curve. Almost anything you do. So then what is not a curve? If I draw a circle, have I drawn a curve? Yes, I have. I've started from a point, gone and stopped. Now what you notice here is in all these cases, I didn't have to take my hand off the piece of paper. I could just start and do the whole thing. So all of these are curves. But if I now add, maybe I don't know, this looks like a face to me. If I add two eyes over here, then what I've done is that I have made this have gaps. So you can see the gaps here. You cannot go from this part of this picture to this without taking your hands off. So this gap, let me mark it out over here. This gap is also called a discontinuity. You can just call it a gap. So if there is a gap, then it's not a curve. So if you want it to be a curve, then it has to be what we call continuous. So maybe if I, if I do this, if I take this and if I connect it with some specs, if I do this and then connect it like this, then what I have is a curve. But if I have that gap, then what I have is not a curve. Now what if I draw a straight line? And then if I ask you, is this a curve? What would your answer be? Think about that question. In daily life, we keep saying that uh, a road can either be straight or it can be curved. But in maths, look at our look at what we said. If you start somewhere and go somewhere else and then you stop, as long as you know there are no gaps, what you've drawn is a curve. So then is a straight line a curve? Yes, it is. Even though in, in, the, in daily usage, we don't call it a curve. So you can see that in maths, some of the words have different meanings than what they have in normal language. So if this is a curve, if one line is a curve, then think about this. If I take it, draw one line like that and then draw another line like this. Is this a curve? I'm just marking these corners big. This could have just been drawn like this. So this is a curve. This is a curve. These two are almost same. Maybe I'll, I'll do this. Is that a curve? Yes, it is. I started somewhere and there are no gaps between each of these lines that I've drawn. I can even make this bigger. I can, I can draw something like this. Maybe a kite. This is also a curve. So just because we use the word curve, a lot of people think that the lines should be curved like this and cannot be straight lines. In fact, they even say you should not use the ruler. You use whatever you want to, but make sure that the whole thing is connected or continuous. And now that you know what a curve is, maybe we can begin to play with it. If I take you down here and if I ask you, okay, you see some curves over here on the left and some more curves over here on the right. Can you take a minute? Just pause this video now. Take a minute to see, is there a difference between these two? And if so, what is that difference? Now, if you thought about it, you may have noticed that in all these curves on this side, you never see what we can call a crossing. So to draw this curve, in some sense, you have to go like this, go all the way here and then cross yourself at this point. But you don't see that happening anywhere over here. Over here again, you can see that there is a crossing. And then here, where is the crossing over here? It's right over here. Here it's over here. Now, on this side, no matter where you draw whatever you're drawing, you can just draw it completely. You'll notice that all the curves that do this, in other words, they don't cross, are called simple curves. S-I-M-P-L-E, simple curves. They don't cross themselves. And, the, and those curves that do cross themselves are called, at least, at least I'm going to call them, not simple curves. Not simple. Maybe there's a more serious sounding name for this. But I guess this should do. Now, what's these two last diagrams over here? If you look at them, to draw them, I actually don't have to cross, right? I can just go like this, go here and come here. So we've used the word crossing, but there is a better way to say the same thing. So what is it about these not simple curves that you should know? The idea is that anytime you pick a point over here, maybe I pick somewhere here, maybe I pick this point. If you look inside, you can see that there are only two lines leaving from this point. If I pick, say, this point, I can see there are two lines leaving from that point. 
So any time that I pick anything that I want, even in between, I can just pick a point over here and say there are only two lines going over here. In fact, you might have even asked, isn't this crossing itself in some sense? Because I start somewhere here, go all the way, and then I have to come back to the same point, right? That happens in all these cases. Whenever you do that, even if you do that, it's still a simple curve. But if you can ever draw, say, a circle and find that inside this, if you take a point, there will be three or more lines coming from there, then it's not simple, right? So I hope you can see that difference. Over here, if you draw that circle, if you take this point, how many can you find? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Even if it's not four, even if it's just three, that's enough. So over here, you can see that there is three. That's enough to make the curve not simple. When I was in school, I remember that I, I used to have one favorite curve that I used to keep drawing on my textbooks and get scolded. So my curve was this. I used to love drawing what, what I think, I think it's called a spiral. And uh, this was always very fun, you know, a lot of fun to draw. Especially because I used to find it hard to keep this gap between the two lines the same. And the reason I used to love drawing this is because uh, once I finished drawing it, then I could look at it and it looked like it's rotating. Uh, I don't know why that happens, but it, it used to look like it's rotating even though it's, it's not. Oh, it, it became ugly over here. Now the question for you is, what I've done here, have I drawn a curve? Is this a curve? In other words, are there gaps in this or not? Also, is this a simple curve or a not simple curve? Not simple curve. Think about that question.